Hello LEGO fans, this is Sephardus Destroyers back again with yet another overdue LEGO Star Wars set review and this time it's a set from last year, 2012 it is the 9490 Droid Escape set Now as said, it may sound uh, familiar to some of you um, I believe many years back, uh, around the first uh, years actually of the LEGO Star Wars theme they released uh, another set with the same or a similar name um, this is basically an updated version of it. Um, basically, it's just, basically it's just exactly the same, same name, uh, same you know, uh, sp same minifigures I think, um, and the same you know, uh, things like this ships or whatever you want to call them or you know models really. Um, basically all the same there though but you know it's a updated version I don't actually have the old one um, but I do have this one and that's what matters right now uh, so anyway, moving on to the set uh, it does have three new minifigures but it does come with a minifigure we've seen many times before um, and that is a 2D2 um, so we've seen this minifigure many times beforehand it's not really much I can say here. Um, printing is okay. Um, yeah, it's not really much I can say to be honest with you. We've all got an Air Two D Two minifigure, I'm sure. So, yeah. Um, uh, next up in the first of the three new minifigures is C Three P O, a brand new version of him. Um, and um, we've had the exact same C three PO minifigure for many years, so it is refreshing to get a new C three PO. What's very interesting is um, the C three PO uh, they've used for many years before you know has been a realistic version, and they used both of the that uh, version of C three PO in both um, movie sets and uh, the Clone Wars sets. Um, now they come out with this version, and in my honest opinion, um, and you might agree or disagree, but in my honest opinion, this looks more animated than movie. Um, and obviously, they were going for movie with this new look, but to me, it just looks a bit more animated. Um, I mean, the eyes for me just look very animated, and then the torso printing as well, a bit looks a bit animated. I'm not saying that's a bad thing because I love the Clone Wars set, but no, it's clear they were going for a movie look, and I think they haven't caught it really. But I do have to say, it is nice to get a new C3PO minifigure, and considering we had the same one for many years, and that is pretty cool. But don't get me wrong, the nitpick is that you know it's more of an animated look, and this is a movie set, but. Again, it's just my opinion, you're, you're free to disagree. Uh, and you also get two new sand troopers in this set. Uh, um, not really, I can't remember what rank this one is. I'm fairly sure the, uh, the one which is orange is uh, Sergeant. Um, I'm sure this must have some rank because of the pole drawn, you know. Um, but as for the detail, it is definitely very well detailed. I do like the dirt marks out in it. Well, the sand marks, I should say. Um, it does feel like a, they're a bit randomly thrown around the minifigure to give them some weathering, but I'll take that. It is pretty decent, and you know, they could have just given us a plain sand troop, which they've really been doing for many years. Um, this one is, you know, it has some nice air. Uh, Dirty max on it, you could say. Um, yeah, and it has a lot of detailing as well. Um, with you know, printed torso, even to printed legs, and um, you know, there it does have printing on the back, as you can see. Um, yeah, I really do like the leg printing on the minifigure. It definitely is very good and very accurate. Um. So yeah, of course you've seen the backpack. Um, uh, like with most uh, backpacks, Lego make for their minifigures is rather simplistic in design. Um, you know, just some pieces thrown together to make a jetpack per se. Uh, jetpack backpack, I mean. 
Um, I'm not really too sure how well the lightsaber uh, pieces go with the backpack though. Um, not a bit iffy about those, but I'm not too bothered. Um, but like I mentioned before, the white pole drawn, it's pretty nice as well. I do like it. It does come with a blaster rifle. And underneath the helmet, he does have face printing. Uh, it was in it was 2012, I believe, that they introduced uh, this face for the stormtroopers and other imperial troopers. Um, and I do like. I know some people, you know, don't like it because they just wanted, you know, it to be plain for the stormtroopers for for ever in the minifigures, but. No, it's still pretty plain. I mean, you could easily just, you know, move the head around, uh, you know, move the head around and have the face facing the other way and then put the helmet over that if you wanted uh, to keep with the look of the other Stormtrooper minifigures. But, you know, I like the face design. Um, it, it, I've, yeah, I, I do like it. I think it does look pretty cool. Um, to be honest... Considering we've had clones for minifigures for a while, which, you know, have, haven't have ever, well, aside from when Attack of the Clones came out, haven't really, and Revenge of Sith, I should say, haven't really had, you know, plain black heads in a long time, you know, I was kind of disappointed that they didn't bring Stormtroopers out with uh, face printing until now, so, pretty, uh, yeah, I'm actually happy about that, um, and then here is the other sand trooper, which is meant to represent this move along sand trooper, I think. Uh, very similar helmet. In fact, I think the helmet design is exactly the same. Um, the real difference, of course, would be the pauldron and the accessories. Um, the accessories, he comes with your regular blaster. And as for this, I think it's meant to represent a kind of communications device, maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not too sure. It does come with another backpack, uh, printed legs again, printed, you know, back of the torso. Um, and again, same face print. So really, not much to say there. Uh, yeah, yeah, two pretty cool sand troopers for sure. That have gone some good updating, and I'll just show you the backpack now. And better view and it basically plugs in very simply um, just plug it in the back here I said it was supposed to be simple but it wasn't there <laughs> there we go um, so yeah anyway moving on to the rest of the set it does come with this interesting looking speeder um, I do tend to like lots of speeders they go bring out, but this one bit bit of a weird design really. Um, I'm not really too sure what to make of it to be honest with you, but you know it is pretty cool. You know they want to throw something small in for the sand troopers, and it does do its job in that regard. But it's a very bizarre design I guess you could say or unique I'm not really so sure a well, unique kind of sounds good really um, yeah you can of course place a, the sound trooper on it I know on the box set it shows the uh, the, uh, the move along sound trooper on it but I'm going to place the white sound trooper on it so there you go um, so yeah I'll try and get them to hold the handlebars now. Might be a bit difficult for them. Yep. Almost got it. There we go. And the handle just has to fall out just when I got it. Just my typical luck. Um. I don't think this is ever going to work. There we go. See, and now he's actually got a grip on it. There we go. See, a pretty cool, um, again, bit of a bizarre design for the speeder bike, but it's still fairly cool. Um, and lastly, with the set, of course, um, is the escape pod included. 
and this was definitely individual release of this set um, it does have some nice detail in it as a uh, sticker here uh, stickers which we all know and love only joking and another sticker here um, there's the front of the skate pod, the hatch I think um, and on the back of the engines I think they are yeah that can be opened up to reveal inside again as shown on the box set um, you can place the minifigures in here of course uh, I'll just put c 3 sitting down there so yeah yep so and of course you can place it over again in fact I'm placing it the wrong way there yeah now c 3 is trapped inside but yeah not much as you can really say there there are some interesting pieces in there like this control panel i think it's supposed to be um yeah nothing really you know that stands out completely but is still pretty cool um i think i mean if you watch my last review on the ewok attack set from 2011 i think this is similar to that one in that it's good value for money but there's nothing absolutely spectacular to come out of it but that's just my opinion i mean you might think there's something spectacular out of it but no i'm not i don't think it is i just think it's a good value for money set in fact <laughs> you may be wondering if I was going to do this at all because I only actually realised halfway through but I never showed you the instructions or the packaging so I'll have to do that now so minifigures page uh, building r 2 d 2 and then another page with the rest of the minifigures uh, pretty straightforward and I'll just skip ahead to the finished product wherever it is Yep, there we go, finished product page. Um, and another page you may want to see, a couple, no, a couple of pages you may want to see, little cartoon over there. Um, other sets in the wave, um, I've reviewed Gene Ocean Cannon, Endor Battle Pack, and the Clones v Droids Battle Pack. Um, haven't picked up the X-Wing or a TIE Fighter at this stage. I'm not really entirely sure I will, to be honest. Um, and then on this page here you get a bunch of the minifigures of the new minifigures that came out in this wave. So, yeah, that's the instructions packaging, of course. New minifigures on the side here. Well, minifigures as a whole on the side. See Fipio, R2-D2 and the two Sand Troopers. Um... Then another look at the sand trooper there, or well, one of them again, and um, just showing a few of the features on the back here. And again, like I said, it is rather simplistic. There's not really much to it. And I basically showed you the only feature that's really in this set, and that's you know that you can take, you can split the escape pod into two. Um. So yeah. Now the packaging wants to fall over, so I'll put it like that. So yeah, not much to really say, to be honest. Uh, I mean, like I said, simplistic set, good value for money, and that's always a plus with sets. I mean, you'd, they don't have to be t too extraordinary, but no, a simplistic and good for value money set is always good here and there. And I think that's pretty much why I like this set so much. Uh, so yeah. I think I'll give it a 9 out of 10. It doesn't really stand out to me as a great set I'd want to pick up right away. In fact, I didn't. I got this after a while. Maybe up to one year after it was released. Um, but like I said, good value for money. And if that's what you want to pick it, if that's what you're looking for in a set, then... I'd say this set would be a good one, especially if you can find it reduced, because you probably can at this stage. So yeah, 9 out of 10 for the Droid Escape set, so may the force be with you, and happy hunting.